everyone. So today I wanted to do uh, my video on signs and symptoms of bipolar spectrum disorders. When I was growing up, my brother was wrongly um, myth diagnosed multiple times over the course of, I think, about two years. I was pretty young during this time, so I'm estimating, but um, during that time my brother was pretty much like hypomanic on almost a daily basis and I didn't want to add to my mom's stress by telling her about the issues that I was having as well. So even as a kid I can remember putting everyone else before myself. Anyway, it got me thinking about all the signs that everyone around me missed during that time and um, the things that people should have picked up on. So I decided to do my video on this today. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of background on Bipolar 1 and Bipolar 2 and then I'm just going to go into um, a little bit about um, the signs that uh, people with bipolar often display. So bipolar 1 leaves basically no doubt as to whether someone is in a manic or extreme elation phase because their behavior quickly escalates until they're pretty much out of control. Um, to qualify as having bipolar 1, a person must have manic or mixed episodes that last at least a week or more or manic symptoms that are so extreme that you're admitted to the mental health ward. Bipolar 2 is four times more common than bipolar 1. It's defined by much less severe manic symptoms, making it usually a lot harder for the person to see the symptoms in themselves and seek out help until the mania or depression really hits its peak which is what happened with my brother, thankfully, when he was younger, so he got help early. Um, so now I'm just going to go into the, uh, the signs that people with, di with bipolar can display. So um, I think I've got five that I came up with, and then I did a little bit of a breakdown for you to better explain it. So. Number one is uh, sometimes you're more talkative or speak much faster or louder than uh, usual or the normal person. I definitely do this without realizing that I'm doing it, uh, especially if I'm excited about what I'm talking about um, or I'm in like an elated hypomanic state, then I'll be definitely doing that. Um, sometimes I'll read to my husband in the car and he always has to tell me to slow down when in my mind I'm not reading that fast at all. Uh, the second thing is sometimes you get into moods where you feel irritable for no real apparent reason. Definitely, uh, for me that's one as well. Um, until I was diagnosed with bipolar 1, I thought that these feelings of irritability that I had were just normal or <clears throat> like some hormonal teenager thing, I guess. Now I realize that I've had um, a lot of days where I wake up feeling irritable and I don't even know why. But those days I would never show it. I would just wear a smile or the mask like everything was fine, um, all well, truly not understanding what was really go going on with myself. Um, the third thing, sometimes you feel both happy and depressed at the same time, which I know is kind of hard to imagine, but um, this kind of happens to me almost every day. I can be having a great day and then say something reminds me of the past and then I feel depressed and then say my favorite song comes on the radio and that bounces me back and I feel happy again, but I can easily 
like go back to those depressed thoughts that I was having about the past and it's like this cycle it's like a like a tug of war going on inside of your head happy sad happy sad happy sad um the fourth thing is sometimes your self-confidence is extremely high but other times it's extremely low definitely extremely true for me I swear every compliment that I've ever received I file in the to be recycled bin in my head I constantly compare myself to every person around me uh, feeling less than adequate than them every time I will find and search out like the reason why they are better than me but then there are other times when like I'm in school for instance when my self-confidence is like completely off the charts um, I read a lot I know I'm smart I know I don't look like the typical nerd but um, I have the grades to prove it it depends on the day really I guess um, it can change multiple times in a day depending on how bad I'm really feeling that day the fifth thing is sometimes you get very angry or defensive over like little things or insignificant things um, not so much anymore for me thanks to my new medication but yes I stu still do get um, angry or defensive over small things like um, before waking up in the morning and spilling milk on the floor used to be able to like ruin a day for me or at least start the cycle of ruining the day and now I find it so much easier to just like brush off those small things but for uh, yeah for about two years before starting this new medication I wouldn't be able to say that at all so um, I also did like a quick little checklist or a breakdown so in case you missed any of that or you just need more clarification and keep in mind that these are signs so that means that they're not going to be predominant in the person at all times like these are things that are going to um, you know peek their head out of the hole every so often but may not necessarily be like in intertwined with their personality if you know what I mean like these are things that don't ha necessarily have to happen to us every day it depends on our environment and our medications and all these other things so um, these are just simply things to look for that can signify that there may be you know a bipolar red flag I guess so um, engaging in risky behaviors such as gambling shopping sprees quitting your job and impulsive sex feeling over happy high elated or like you're on top of the world for long periods of time feeling easily agitated jumpy twitchy or like you just can't sit still any longer unrealistic expectations of yourself your abilities and your skills talking fast loud or more elated than usual difficulty sleeping because of racing thoughts rapid mood swings from happy to sad and back again sometimes bouncing all over the place in a day decreased need for sleep in general you may not feel tired at all when you haven't slept all day and it's like 4 a.m inability to maintain a schedule so like calling in sick to work when you're physically fine but you just mentally can't bring yourself to do it that day um, those were just like the collective things that I th came up with that I thought um, would help someone signify um, if there's a bigger problem going on because I know that bipolar is one of those illnesses that often gets misdiagnosed 
like uh, it's one of those illnesses where you are misdiagnosed a lot before you work up to your actual real diagnosis of bipolar. Um, I was lucky enough because my brother was diagnosed with bipolar at such a young age and he went through all of the, the crap of being wrongly diagnosed that um, I didn't really have to go through that because um, it's proven that there's genetic traits so basically as soon as I talked to the psychiatrist and told them you know that my brother had bipolar too and how I was having these severe like manic episodes where I would completely lose control for hours and all I could do is just lie on the floor and cry or thrash around and scream or whatever the case may be and um so that's what like eventually led to my diagnosis so uh, I hope that this video is informative for um, anyone looking for signs or symptoms and to my usual follow followers remember that you are strong and you are never alone.